We are, as never before in our history, surrounded by media. In our homes, our schools, our workplaces. We even carry it around with us. And while it's clear we use the media for many reasons, information, entertainment, even education, what's less clear is how certain groups in our society may be affected by the media they consume. While we may feel we're in control of the media we use, we're not always so sure about others. And the media consumption of one group in particular seems to cause us regular concern. Although there have always been young people, there haven't always been children. At least not children the way we currently understand the word. This is because for sociologists, Childhood isn't just a question of biology and age. Rather, it's a social construction. Well, what's meant by childhood now is not what was meant by childhood 200 years ago. If you think what a child is, a child is somebody who dresses differently from adults, at least when they're very young, who has to go to school, who's not allowed to go to work until a certain age and has to undergo certain circumstances in order for them to be able to do that. Uh, and a child is also somebody who is not able to do certain kinds of things. They can't drive, they can't vote, they can't have sex and so on and so forth. So childhood is a series of negatives and positives. 200 years ago, childhood was seen very differently in our society to the way we see it now. 200 years ago, children were treated like miniature adults. They dressed like miniature adults. They worked like miniature adults. Uh, they saw and heard things which we would now describe as disgraceful for children to do and see. So 200 years it did, ago it didn't exist and it's been a very long and in some ways slow process over 200 years of, of organising things so that children become what we now think of as normal children. Things like compulsory schooling, changes in the law, changes in family life and so on. And as perceptions change, so too does the meaning of childhood. I think that was related to the Industrial Revolution and to changes in the way we understood childhood. Suddenly, we saw a whole range of children going to school. We saw the rise of mass education. Victorian society laid great stress on childhood being a time of innocence. In the Victorian era, there was this idea that little children were sacred and pure and innocent. Um, and I think we were, we're living through a period where we want to see children in the same way now. And children could easily lose this innocence through their contacts with the potentially corrupting adult world. This is really a very new idea, historically. It came in, it seems, with the Victorians. Before that, children, to some extent, were seen as adults who were not yet fully formed. Um, they were dressed more as adults. Um, they played more of the same games as adults did. There was this idea that children are, live in a kind of Eden before the fall, and that it was important not to be the snake that, uh, that tempted. And at the close of the Victorian era, one such snake was seen by some to have been introduced. 